Hello everyone and welcome to Art and Design. My name is Tarkin and today we're going to be making this print look better and last longer. Alright, so in my last video I created this artwork on the iPad. And if you want to see the story behind this artwork, you can check out the video right over here. Just click over on that card. Now, it was a pretty interesting experience and I highly recommend that you check it out. But anyways, what I do is I export the artwork from my iPad to my PC. And then I prepare it for print using Photoshop. And if you want to see my workflow in Photoshop, then uh, leave a comment down below if you'd like to see that. But anyways, next up we turn on the printer, we select a nice paper. I like to use this one, it's a semi-gloss A3 plus size paper, so it's a nice and big paper. And we put that into the printer like so. And then we press print on the PC, and there we go. So it's printing, we see it over there. So it went from the iPad to the PC and now to the printer. Good stuff. All right, so let's take it over to our workshop. So there we go, ready to go. All right, so the next step is to varnish this image. And varnishing basically protects the image so it lasts longer. It adds a little bit of three-dimensionality so you can see kind of a texture on top of the image. See right now, it just has this uniform texture to it. No matter what angle you look at it, it just looks the same regardless. It's just a print, we all know what a print looks like. What I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be making it look more like this thing right here. Now you can see when I hold it up to the light from a specific angle, when the light shines onto it, you can see the reflections. It adds this nice looking texture to it and it just looks like it's, almost looks like it's painted. I'm, I mean, it's a little bit, too glossy to be paint, but I don't know. It has a nice effect. It adds more depth to it, and it just creates this three-dimensional effect. I don't know, it makes it look a little bit more interesting when it's varnished like this. It just adds a little bit more depth to it, and I quite like it. So, let's dive right into it. The first thing that you're gonna need is a fan. Now, this thing won't do, it's way too small. You're gonna need something that can move much more air away from your face. So we're gonna be using one of these. Step two is open the windows all the way, as much as they can go. Ideally do this outside, because this varnish stuff is really, really, really bad. Like, the vapors that come off it absolutely stink. I'm pretty sure it says on the bottle right here that it can cause lung damage. So you don't wanna be breathing this in. Get the vapors away from your face. Step two, start painting. Pick a brush, something big to start with, because we're going to be covering the entire thing with a little bit of layer of varnish. Now this is kind of similar to 3D printing in a way, because basically what you're doing is you're applying one layer at a time on the image. So think about it that way. Now one thing that is kind of annoying about this specific medium, this specific varnish that I use, it's very liquidy. So it can be kind of difficult to get the three-dimensional effect because you need to use so little at once. Uh, another thing that you need to be careful of is that you can't undo. This isn't Procreate. If you make a mistake, then you'll have to live with it or try to rectify it. Uh, trust me on that. <laughs> I've made this mistake many times. It's amazing how quickly you kind of forget that you're not working in a digital medium. So you do something and then you're putting two fingers on a paper and your brain just like, suddenly realizes the <laughs> stupidity, like, ah, God. Anyways, it's the problems of being a digital artist. And another thing, the varnish is very liquidy, as I said, and that is problematic if you put too much at once. So if you put too much at once, it does tend to just flow into places where you didn't intend it to flow. So you might make a line, for example, on, on one end of the page, then you go work on another end of the page and then you look back and suddenly the line is now a blob. It has just spread. And you have to be careful about that. Uh, just make sure that you don't put too much into the brush at once. So now let's move on to phase number two, which is 
the horizontal lines right here. So this is the second layer and uh, I'm gonna use a different brush for that. I'm gonna use something smaller because the books are smaller. I think this one will work pretty well. All right, so just need to put some varnish onto the brush like so. And as you can see, I made a mistake there. I put way too much varnish and now we have just this blob at the top right over there. And I continued making a mistake because I should have sorted this out right away because the varnish, well, it dries up basically. So if you leave it on for too long, the varnish will dry up and it'll become, well, impossible to fix basically. Well, you can use varnish removers and stuff like that, but I mean, ideally you don't want to be uh, fixing your mistakes like that. All right, so here's what I've got so far. So we see how this three-dimensional effect is starting to take place. We can see how it reflects against the light and you sort of have to look at the light when you're doing this so that you can see what you're doing because the, the varnish is clear, obviously. But here's a handy tip. Like, if you want to make a straight line, what you do is you put your finger, your pinky finger on the edge of the canvas and then you simply slide it down like so, holding the brush as steady as you can, keeping it firm and then you simply slide your finger down and there we go, we got a straight line. Now, if you do happen to make a mistake, don't worry, you can clean it up. It's simply a matter of picking a clean brush or wiping up the varnish from the brush that you already have and then just simply brushing it up. Now, unfortunately, there are no happy accidents in this case. This is simply a varnish that you're applying over an existing artwork. You can't really make something that isn't there already. So try to be as accurate as, as possible. Take some time off and uh, make sure that you are uh, doing your best. Now, I think I've said the most of the things that I wanted to say in this video. So I'm gonna let the rest of the video kind of speed by and um, I don't know, let's give it some nice music. How about that? That's much better. Now, this specific artwork is gonna be going out to one of you. There's gonna be a link in the description to a giveaway. So if you wanna get a chance to win this and have this shipped to your house, then uh, go ahead and check that out. It's gonna be opened until 21st of December, 2018. So just have that in mind. But uh, other than that, I wanna thank you all very much for watching. Uh, see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye. You showed me how to reach for the best of myself It's all good when you show the way yeah. I'm considering it for fall Ooh, I trust you'll stay so hard stumbling in the dark to learn how to see what you already saw
Cause an open sea that's anxious to come